let's get ready to Monday. Hey, good morning, everybody. Praise the Lord. This is your boy, Pastor Corey Allen Duncan Sr., and I'm so glad, so happy, so excited that y'all are on this call this morning. Look, y'all heard the boxing bell. You know what it means. It's mean we are ready to Monday. We are ready to get it in. We are ready to get our faith fit for the fight. That's right. That's a lot of Fs in there, but I need you to get them all. That We are ready to get our faith fit for the fight. And I hope that you are up. I hope that you are excited. I hope that you are motivated. Uh, we are entering into the springtime. The sun is shining. Plenty of light. That we are excited about this day, about this week, about this month, about the new season that God has us in. And we are prepared to embrace what the Lord has for us. Well, check it out real quick. I want to look at something, something God shared with me that I hope and pray to be a blessing to you and we'll release you and let you go on your way. Numbers 14 and 33. Numbers 14 and 33 says, and your children shall wander in the wilderness 40 years. And your children shall wander in the wilderness 40 years. Yeah, I was in prayer last week and God showed me this picture very vividly in the midst of my prayer. God began to minister to me and talk to me and show me some things even about my life that I thought was very powerful, that I thought was very impactful, that I had to share with you today. That while I was in prayer, this was last Wednesday before Bible study, I was in prayer and God began to show me an airplane. God began to show me a holding pattern. I don't know if you know what a holding pattern is, but a holding pattern is when an airplane wants to land, is trying to land, but conditions are not safe, and so it has to continue circling in a what is known as a holding pattern before it's able to land. And on one end of the spectrum, I'm like, man, well, there's got to be a good thing because if the if the if the conditions are not safe, if the plane cannot land, then it's cool that it's inside of this pattern until the coast is clear and until the conditions are safe for the plane to land. That, that, that's one aspect of it. But the other aspect, on the other end, I began to look at it and I began to think, what if somebody on the plane has a connecting flight? What if somebody on the plane has somewhere, everybody has somewhere they're trying to be? But what, what happens if you stay in a prolonged holding pattern? Come on. What happens if you stay in a prolonged holding pattern? Yeah, if you stay in a prolonged holding pattern, then the reality is you keep others from getting to their destination. That not only can not only will you not get to the destination God desires for you to get to, but you are holding others up as well from getting to the destination that they're trying to get to. When I was in prayer, it really blew my mind and just dealing with some things in my life, looking at some things taking place as far as leadership and ministry and my life, period. God says, when you stay in a holding pattern, you keep people from getting to their destination. Because I don't know about you, but sometimes I get stuck in the paralysis of analysis, right? That sometimes in life, you get stuck in the paralysis of analysis and you do so much analyzing, you do so much studying, you do so much research, you do so much digging that sometimes you don't pull the trigger. Sometimes you don't make a decision. Sometimes you don't make a move, right? And the reality is, and you got to get all the information you need. You cannot make an informed decision with poor information. You got to collect all the data do all the meetings, do all the assessing you can, but at some time you got to pull the trigger. At some times you got to make a move. And sometimes you have to put yourself in a position where you you move and you shift um, from analyzing and strategizing to making a move. And sometimes, y'all, we get caught and stuck in a holding pattern because we don't feel the conditions are right or we don't haven't dotted all the I's, or we haven't dotted all the T's, or we don't feel like it's time to make the move. And this is the thing. 
If you're waiting for the conditions to be perfect, then you will forever be stuck and stalled and stagnant and stationary. And you will never, ever move if you are waiting for the conditions to be perfect. You will never, ever move if you're, you know, if, if you're waiting to dot every I and cross every T. And some of us are stuck in a holding pattern. Some of us are stuck in a holding pattern. Some of us won't step out. Some of us won't launch out. Some of us won't land. Some of us won't move forward. Some of, some of us won't make the decision. Some of us won't make the call. Some of us, we won't, we, we, look, we, we, we won't open up the business. Some of us won't walk away from the relationship. Some of us, we won't do what we know we are supposed to do. And you're stuck in the holding. And this is the thing. Yeah, not only is it for your benefit, but other people's future, other people's blessing could be tied to your decision. Mm. Other people's blessing could be tied to your decisions. Numbers in this particular scripture, y'all, it was a, it was a, what was it? A three day journey? It was a three or 40 day journey, three day journey in the wilderness, whatever it was, 40 years, they were stuck in this holding pattern. Because of disobedience, 40 years that what, what, what should have took little to no time ended up taking, look, a generation had to die off. That there were people who was excited, people who were waiting for the promised land. They came out of Egypt, take us to the promised land. Yes, and what should have been a short journey, what should have been just a temporary road and, and journey to the promised land, ended up taking 40 years. Years. Ah. Oh, man. It took 40 years. They were stuck in a holding pattern. I don't know who I'm talking to, but the question is, what holding pattern are you stuck in? What is it that you're doing and redoing and doing again? Where are you stuck? What is it that you're supposed to be doing? What are you wrestling with? What decision are you wrestling with? Why have you not pulled the trigger? Why have you not launched out into the deep? What is keeping you from moving forward? It's so very important, y'all. You have to start to analyze. You have to start to break that down. You have to start. You look, you, you, you got to see clearly. Sometimes we got so much clutter in our head. Sometimes we got uh, so much, if, if things are so cloudy, you have to position yourself where things are clear and you make a move. You got people's blessing are t is tied to your decision. And if you continue to stay in this holding pattern, you continue to stay in this place, you continue to stay stuck and stalled and stagnant, not only will you not get to the place what God has called you to be and desire for you to be and wants you to be, but other people will <laughs> other people will be delayed as well. You gotta make a decision. You gotta come out of that holding pattern. You gotta you gotta get out of the paralysis of analysis. You gotta make a move. You gotta be strategic with the time that you have. Ah, oh, come on. I hope you got it today. I don't know who that word is for today. Come on. I, I, look, I wish I knew, but God said it ain't for you to know. Your, your job is to uh, uh, see the need, sow the seed, and detach yourself from the results. So I'm sowing the seed today. I'm sowing the seed in your heart. I'm sowing the seed in your mind. I want you to get this word uh, in your heart. Yo, I, I want you. I, ooh, come on. I, I hope it's just not a ritualistic experience for you to call in money. No, make this word flesh. Let it be practical, portable, and applicable. Begin praying to God. Begin to analyze your life and see what holding pattern am I in. Begin to analyze and begin to ask yourself, what, where, where am I stuck? Where am I stuck and how do I get out of this thing? How do I land in this plane? Who am I holding up? What am I holding up? Come on. Mm. Who am I holding up? What am I holding up? What decision do I need to make? Come on. <laughs>
Come on, I hope you got it this morning. Let's pray, Lord. We thank you for this day. Thank you for your many blessings, this opportunity that you have afforded each and every one of us. Thank you for allowing us together this sacred space and place, Father God, to call upon your holy and righteous name. Father God, we thank you for our time together. We thank you for all that you've done and all that you continue to do in the midst of our life. Lord, I thank you for everybody on this call. Lord, I pray that you search their hearts, see what they stand in the need of and supply it according to their riches and glory. Father God, you know where they are in their life. You know what holding patterns we are in. You know who's in the wilderness. You know who's wandering. You know who is where. Father God, you know where we're stuck. You know where we're stalled. You know where we're stagnant. You know where we are. And Father God, I pray that you begin to help us. Father God, I pray that you begin to help us to move from cloudy to clearly. I pray that you help us to clear out the clutter so that we can see. Father God, I pray that you give us the courage to make a step, to take the step. Let us know that the conditions may not be perfect. Father God, help us to see that our decision, somebody's blessing is tied to our decision. That we have to govern ourselves accordingly. Father God, have your way in the midst of our life. We thank you for the gift of another day. We made the wake up list. And we thank you, Father God, Lord. I pray that you have your way in the midst of our life. Lead us in a way that you desire for us to go. Do what you desire to do. We'll be forever. We'll forever give your name the glory, the honor, and the praise. It is in the mighty, the marvelous, the matchless, miracle, working, magnificent name of Jesus Christ. We do pray. Amen. Let's get ready to Monday.